This video is brought to you by Raya, the universal platform empowering software developers to build and create applications for robots. Details in the description. If you visit the New Avengers campus at Disneyland California, you might just run into Spider-Man himself. And after seeing him do a few backflips and also a few stumbles, you'll get to see the beloved web-slinger soar about 65 feet up into the air. Now this stunt is way too dangerous for a character performer at a Disney park, especially considering he has to perform this stunt a few times a day. So that specific part of the show is handled by a new kind of robot, called a Stuntronic robot. Meet Tom, named after actor Tom Holland who portrays the character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Tom is a culmination of a few years of development by a group of roboticists and engineers at Disney. The Disney Imagineers had an idea to develop a new type of robot, one that would be robust enough to handle some really crazy stunt work, but also graceful enough to pass as an actual living human being. And what other character portrays these two properties better than Spider-Man? The team began with a simple rectangle named the Brick. It was a simple mechanism that could rotate itself through the air using a pair of moving weights. After that, they implemented the system into a long stick and then into a Z-shaped robot, and slowly but surely, it started to take on a more human shape. The final robot had all the sensors and motors it needed to know how high it was, how fast it was going, and what movements to make in order to perform backflips, frontflips, or any other crazy maneuver. Tom the Robot weighs about 95 pounds or 43 kilograms, and he stands about 5 feet 9 inches or 175 centimeters tall, which is just about the height of Tom Holland himself. Those signatures on the robot's chest are Tom Holland's and the Marvel Cinematic Universe's mastermind himself, Mr. Kevin Feige. So after a lot of trial and error, the Imagineers had what they were looking for, a robust yet graceful robot. One that can make beautiful movements through the air while landing safely without breaking. However, now they had to make it a little less graceful. See, Peter Parker is an awkward teenager. Sure, he has amazing powers, but he is in no way perfect. Tom Holland played his Spider-Man a little goofy and imperfect, and now his robot had to act in the same way. In order to achieve that, the Imagineers had to program the robot to make tiny little mistakes while he is in the air. And those mistakes ended up being the main reason that the robot looks so human. Another interesting fact about this Spider-Bot is its batteries. Since the robot's performance only lasts about 4 seconds at a time, there was no reason to use regular batteries, which are good at storing a lot of energy over long periods of time, but at the cost of being very heavy. Instead, the robot uses supercapacitors that are able to deliver a large amount of current very quickly. This allows the robot to receive all the power it needs for a short amount of time, and on top of that, it also charges very quickly behind the scenes. So from a simple brick to a gravity-defying spider robot that gets audiences gasping and cheering, the Disney Imagineers keep pushing the envelope of robotics and technology and marrying it to entertainment in an absolutely inspiring way. We can't wait to see what other Stuntronic robots wait for us in the future. And if you want to hear more about everything that is interesting in the world of robotics, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And as always, stay curious. Thank you.